beautiful Charleston, South Carolina. Known for its rich history, culture, and architecture, distinguished restaurants, and friendly people, Charleston is home to some of the world's best. Over the last several years, Charleston has become a top tourist destination. Having been ranked the world's best city by Travel and Leisure magazine, visitors choose Charleston as their favorite vacation spot to get away from it all. But what is it like to live and work here in the Low Country? Just 25 miles west of Charleston, Somerville is known as a bedroom community to the business and industry of the Low Country. Nestled among the live oaks and pine trees of Somerville is Dorchester School District 2. Dorchester School District 2 has an amazing school environment for students and staff alike. Since the early 1970s, Dorchester District 2 has been known in the state of South Carolina as a world-class school district. What makes us more effective in this district is we work as a team. It's Team Dorchester. When everybody pulls together, the administration, the teachers, and all the support uh, uh, members, and we do it as a family, you just don't let each other down and somebody has your back all the time. The best quality in our district, I think, is the active daily support that we receive. Um, we receive that so we can make um, kids better. Um, and that comes from the top down, from the superintendent of education all the way down to teachers and custodial staff members. We support them, they support us. It's the team approach. And they can't get to what they're supposed to. In Dorchester District 2, our core values are fundamental to our daily approach to education, students, and each other. The first core value is there because it is the first. It's about the children. Students come first in Dorchester District 2. If we're going to have a team, you're going to have a family atmosphere, and you're about all children, all employees that work here need to have this as their core to be able to operate. Let's go ahead and look at number one. I feel like we spend the first few weeks of school really establishing those relationships. Great job. I want them to feel comfortable enough with me to have open conversations or come to me when they need help or you know, just feel that connection. So just, it starts on day number one and it's a constant thing we work on throughout the year, but establishing those relationships is really what kind of seals the deal. Remember, not all prepositions show location. That's so I really try to make sure I have a relationship with each individual student in my classroom, but also the students not in my classroom. I am now started a running club, and so I'm trying to get to know students in terms of their what they like to do outside of school and running with them and having those relationship pieces. walk into any school in Dorchester too, we have some passion here. Um, teachers work tirelessly, I mean endless hours of just going home, you kind of have to get on to them like stop with the emails, take a break, um, because they love what they do um, and it resuscitates my love for, for teaching and learning. When I first came to this district, it was my second year of teaching, I was surrounded by mentors in classrooms around me who were constantly striving for the best for their kids, constantly talking, constantly coming alongside me as a beginning educator, putting their arm around me and offering support, offering guidance, offering help, because education is not an easy road to hoe, as my grandmother would have said. It is not a job you pick because you want your summers off. It's a job you pick and stay in because you're passionate about making a difference for children. We are this huge family and that we do take care of each other and we we know what we need to work on. We kind of we try to address things in a positive manner and find solutions because we're all in it together. My job as administrator is to do everything in this building to support my kids 
And in order to do that, I support my teachers. That means protecting their instructional time. That means giving them the resources that they need. That means encouraging them on those hard days, problem solving with them, sitting down in a classroom and saying, let's get together on this kid. Let's talk with them together. The culture of DD2 and Be Chill is that a very positive one. Everybody works well together, but it's also very rigorous. The expectation is that you're going to improve your craft and you're going to push the children in your classroom to the best because our ultimate goal is to be um, the South Carolina graduates and um, part of the world elite learners. And so in order to do that, we have to constantly push ourselves, but in a positive manner. All three of the instructional leaders I have worked under have challenged me to grow professionally, have challenged me to always put children first, and to always look through the lens of, would this be good enough for my child? pleasure to come to work every day with such talented people. Um, we're in a brand new state-of-the-art facility here. The possibilities are endless. Um, we have a strong sense of community amongst our staff and with our parents. Strong parent involvement. This is just a great place to be. I have a, a family in DD2. Not only do I have a family of co-workers and administrators and people that I work with, but my actual family um, is in DD2. My, DD2 employs five of my family members. Very few places do you go that the superintendent, you know, walks in most classrooms and knows his teachers by name. You know, they just, they support you. DD2 treats you as a family member. It, DD2 really sets you up to be the best teacher you can be. There has never been a time that um, I have been in this district where someone has not been very supportive of me to make myself better whether it be in the classroom or with discipline or um, taking more courses to um, better my craft. Teaching in our district is more than just a job because we're a family. We've created a culture where everyone cares about one another, they check on one another and make sure that everyone is succeeding. So at the beginning of the story, what did he want? He I love having a job where it doesn't feel like I have to work and instead I'm coming to my career that I love. And here I feel like that every day. I have fun every day, I laugh every day and I'm learning something new. I see people just absolutely working their backsides off to make their schools and their environments the very best it can be. They really are trying to do it all and, and they're doing it while they balance their own personal lives. World class means never thinking you arrived. World class means being innovative, being creative, being risk takers. It's taking what you have and making the fullest advantage of every opportunity. Seeking opportunities, open doors that, that are nailed shut. Open those doors and see what's on the other side. And what I've noticed a lot is that we collaborate. Um, it's not school against school. It's not who's the better school, who's the worst school. It's how can we work together. I think just knowing that we all work for the common good of the kids is really cool to see because not every district's like that. I wanted excellence. I wanted also relationships. Uh, the reason I am a teacher is that I love relationships. Relationships with kids, relationships with the people I work with, relationships with the families that we're serving, and this district has a real commitment to that. Relationships is the most important piece. Um, I do believe that you have to make those connections, allow students to feel comfortable. There has to be a trust between educator and student and when that trust is established, then you do see the progress. I had a young man one year who I had to push really, really hard. He, he 
had to probably think that Miss Wanish was always on him because I was pushing hard, but loving him at the same time. And on the last day of school, he walked up to me and gave me a little folded up piece of paper and looked up at me through his bangs. And I read it and it said, thanks for never giving up on me. And so that's really at the core of what keeps us coming back and makes us want to grow not only ourselves, but our classrooms and our whole communities. Diversity, diversity is huge. Um, when we look at hiring teachers even, you want to make sure that students and the community can see themselves in, in the teachers and faculty and staff here. Now we are engaged in a great civil war. Testing whether that nation My students is what keeps me here, the diversity of Dorchester District 2. I love teaching students from different socioeconomic backgrounds, from different cultures. I have a Hispanic female student that's not come from the best background and she always communicates with me. She is so bright and she is so smart and her confidence is not there. So she gives, sends me and writes me like little thankful, thank you notes privately or she'll email me about certain questions that she just doesn't want to ask in class because of, of her being timid. But we're working on that. She's going, she's having breakthroughs. And how did you figure that out? There is not a single room you can walk into in this building and not see learning happening. But not just learning, students learning how to be leaders. They're learning how to be leaders of themselves so that they can then be leaders in their community later on. I encourage staff to take advantage of district and school level professional development opportunities as well as to go back to school to pursue advanced degrees. I also like to, to give teachers leadership opportunities at the school level, especially those teachers that are trying to pursue um, a, a administration position. Dorchester District 2 has done a fantastic job at uh, choosing not only qualified uh, administrators to be in leadership positions, uh, but well-rounded individuals in these leadership positions. Uh, not only do the leaders that I come in contact with every day, not only do they, do they care about you as a person, uh, which is fantastic, but they obviously care about the student and how the learning process is going on in your classroom. So, but I mean, sixth grade represented well in Miss Sowers. Uh. We'll celebrate the achievements and accomplishments of our students and of our staff because that's the best way you grow is to let people know how successful they've been. Success, real success. One, two, three, four. Ashley Ridge has an incredible dance program. We have amazing dancers who are super dedicated. They're competitive. They stay up to date on choreography and dancers in the field. And I would happily take them anywhere and have them compete, and they would be able to show off. We also excel in our sports. We encourage students to get involved extracurricularly. Um, we've had some success with our football team. We have, we've had a lot of success with wrestling and basketball over the years, and uh, just to name a few. Um, but as our students um, compete and as they become better athletes, our coaches are able to mold them into young men and young women. core values are what separate Dorchester School District 2 from other school districts in the state and in the country. These values are components to proven success. Reputation is everything and District 2 truly has a reputation that precedes any other neighboring school districts. It's a special place here. Um, it's a place that's family. It's a place that you would raise your family here and be happy. It's a place that has academic traditions. 
it's just a good place to be and I'm honored to be a part of the Dorchester School District 2 family. The parents are also very supportive and I think it's unique to Dorchester 2 because they want to help their students succeed but they understand that that also means helping the teacher succeed. I love that it's not just the cookie cutter classroom anymore. I like that we are open to new opportunities and innovative ideas and we're not scared to try things. Like that is something that stuck out to me. I feel like we're visionaries in Dorchester too. We dream big and we make it happen. We don't just say, we're just gonna dream big. We make sure that we set those goals and that our commitment to those goals is greater, greater than um, even the dream. So making sure they're attainable and we, we reach our highest potential.